Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at a brand new version of the Zora simulator which adds improved performance, improved Mali GPU support, brand new features, new bug fixes and much more. As you guys might know Zora simulator is an open source windows simulator for android devices with a linux environment as well which uses glibc as well as bionic wine containers. It is designed to be highly customizable and it also has all necessary needs running linux apps and windows games such as turnip driver, virgil as well as vulkan wrappers including DXVK and Wine D3D. In the future version of Zoda Simulator, new device drivers for Mali GPUs, Adreno 7 series as well as Snapdragon 8 Elite processor devices will be added. Now guys, the version of Zoda Simulator that we'll be using is its most recent 5.4.0, the Zoda Simulator ARM64 Windows and Linux Simulator. You guys can check out release notes that it has finally added Mali GPU improvements along with that fixed Bionic Audio and Script, DXVK wrapper have been fixed along with that Proot user login fix, Glipsy start menu overhaul so you will get brand new setup page for setting up the simulator along with that direct textual support has been added. So virtual improvements have also been made for glibc and much more so that's what we'll be checking out. I have already added the Zoda simulator 5.4.0 on my android device so let's start setting it up right away. Once all the necessary assets have been loaded your Zoda simulator will successfully start. Now when you tap on preferences you will need to set the display resolution mode to exact. Afterwards set the display resolution to 1280 by 720 if you have a a high-end Android device. If not, you can go as low as 800 by 600 resolution. That's what we'll choose in today's video. We'll also enable the Zoda Simulator float menu for extra settings while emulating our games or just running the emulator in general. Once that has been done, unfortunately we still cannot go back. So we'll need to restart the Zoda Simulator after applying the settings. Then we'll just go and tap on the start button. Now here you'll see lot of options. You even get Xbox for the Xbox Simulator, which is present inside this emulator. We have Zoda Swine Wine Glipsy, Wine Bionic as well as AI settings, quick settings and much more. The first thing that we'll check out is the Zodas simulator itself. So I have tapped on Zodas and let's wait until it starts. By the way, I'll be showing you guys how to set up Glipsy as well. So make sure to watch the video till the end. And here we go, our Zodas simulator has started. Unfortunately, the 800 by 600 resolution does not look that great. But if you just go and take a look at desktop settings, you guys can see lot of gaming wallpapers have also been provided, which in my opinion is pretty cool. So here you guys can see I have changed the wallpaper it looks amazing but let me fix the resolution and I'll be back. And here we go now in 1280 by 720p resolution you guys can see it looks much better and we also have a brand new animated cursor by the way if you noticed and we are literally emulating a Linux environment completely offline on our Android device for example if we just go ahead and try to open applications they will also work without any issues. So yeah guys let's just go ahead and open test D3D and you guys will be able to see test which have been provided. Now when I open the test D3D you saw the wine configuration started loading and our emulator has stopped for now so we'll need to set up the wine glipsy version before you do that make sure to just go ahead and hold the zoda simulator go to app info and make sure to force stop the simulator now what we'll do is simply tap on the start button afterwards choose between wine glipsy or wine bionic for today's video we'll go with wine glipsy first afterwards let's wait until the loading is complete you guys can see the wine configuration is being processed so we'll need to wait for few seconds now when you open wine glipsy it will automatically start setting up few steps after the wine configuration is done. The whole process should take anywhere from 2 to 3 minutes so just be patient and afterwards as you guys can see our windows emulator has successfully started. Now currently it, is, it has opened in a weird aspect ratio. We'll tap on Zodas extra settings and select the second option which is presented here and now we can restart our wine glipsy container. But before we do that I'd also like to set up the wine bionic container because it is also pretty amazing. So here we go in just few seconds our wine bionic container has successfully started. Now this does not have much customizability compared to the wine glipsy container but if we just go and tap on the start button you guys can see this is currently pretty empty. So we'll go to documents afterwards let's just go and open the D directory and it will open the entire internal storage of your android device. Now by default I don't think anything has been set up here. So we'll just go ahead and turn off this container as well. Now what we'll do is tap on the start button afterwards go to the quick settings menu where we'll be able to set up this emulator in just few steps. So it will say modern android device detected let's just go ahead and tap on ok. Afterwards you'll need to select between snapdragon or other processor as the device which I'm using has snapdragon processor we'll go with snapdragon. Afterwards we'll choose the wine bionic and now we can choose the direct text wrapper. So it has lot of direct text wrappers you'll need to go according to the version that is best for you but for today's video you can choose the DXVK 2.3.1 or the DXVK Asynchronous 1.10.3. I'll go with Asynchronous 1.10.3. We have Devil Rapper as well as Turnip Driver. 
drivers the 25.0.0 revision to Zinc Bionic as well as wrapper graphics driver, mice wrapper and even other wrapper graphics driver. So you get lots of customizability in terms of graphics driver will go with devil wrapper. Afterwards we'll set the CPU core allocation to 8 and there we go. Wizard has been completed run windows now. So let's tap on OK after tap on start and now we'll just go and boot our wine bionic container. After applying the settings I guess the simulator should be all set for us to start using and finding out how well does it work. By the way if we just go and tap on the Zoda settings once again we have the on screen touch controls profile as well which you can choose from here. Now most of these on screen touch controls profile have been imported from Winlater Frost I guess and uh, this is from Winlater obviously we'll also enable touch screen we'll tap on ok and as you guys can see our GTFI input touch controls have started. But let's just go ahead and disable it for now we'll go to documents afterwards we'll go to our D directory go to the game that we'll be testing out in today's video which is going to be Grand Theft Auto 5. Let's find out if this emulator is capable of emulating games still or not and I do have small doubts that this will not work because the wine bionic container is very empty there is no additional setting even the game format is not getting detected here so I don't think it will work unfortunately but I have a solution as you remember we also set up our wine glipsy container just few seconds ago so as our game is not booting up here we'll just go ahead and terminate our process by tapping the second option afterwards we'll go to start then go to quick settings and make sure to set up the wine glipsy as well so here we'll go with glipsy and choose the same dx wrapper as well as graphics driver but guys unfortunately it seems that we do not have the wrapper graphics driver insert glipsy version so i guess if you want to try out wine glipsy you'll need to have at least snapdragon 888 processor or below or even snapdragon 8 gen 1 etc for today's video just to boot the emulator we'll go with the virgil mesa 24 graphics driver and set the cpu cores to 8 because virgil graphics driver also work with unsupported snapdragon processor android devices so let's boot up wine glipsy and see if we can try out any games here this is actually a complete uh, emulator by the way so let's go to d3d test and run the cube map d3d test and you guys can see even that is not opening but let's go to d and try out a game which should work on even virgil graphics driver so this is grand theft auto 4 let's just go ahead and double tap on it and see if it launches or not we'll go to start we'll also make sure to open task manager to see if our game is booting or not and unfortunately in terms of processor you guys can see our gta 4 is not present here I'll try to open it for 10 times let's go to task manager again and you guys can see our GTA 4 is just not booting so unfortunately Zoda simulator still does not work on newer snapdragon processors like 8 elite newer snapdragon processors but don't worry I'll test it out on my tablet pretty soon that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time goodbye.